Dave Hartnett, the former head of tax at HMRC, is no stranger to controversy. As a renowned expert in all areas of tax, we've caught up with him to get his views on a range of issues currently facing the UK system of taxation. Can we start with your views on the balance between revenue collection and pursuing corporations and individuals through the courts? Tax administrations are in the business of bringing in tax, the right amount of tax, and when they can, at the right time. Um, sometimes that's, that's not possible, um, and taxpayers, corporate or human, uh, have to be pursued. Um, litigation in the courts is really phenomenally expensive in, in this day and age all over the world. Um, and I think is to be avoided where possible. Um, and the art is to persuade people to pay by strength of argument and the like. Um, but ultimately, if people won't pay up, then litigation is, is the only way forward. Is the UK's tax system sufficiently competitive enough compared with the likes of Singapore or Switzerland? Well, I think the UK's tax system is competitive. Uh, you've only got to look at what's happened over the last 18 months with changes to the control foreign companies rules and all of a sudden the newspapers are full of 20 multinationals wanting to come to the UK. Some have already arrived either coming back after they left because they felt it was uncompetitive or coming in for the first time. Um, something really good is happening here uh, in the UK in terms of competing with others. Um, whether the UK will ever quite compete with a small country like Singapore is, is another matter. But my sense is that over time, um, Singapore will enter a different sort of relationship with um, developed countries. And you've seen, if I can put it this way, a toe in the water already, with a new um, agreement between Germany and Singapore, which provides greater transparency than uh, um, Germany has ever had before. Is that a model you'd like to see adopted here? I haven't had a chance to examine uh, the precise terms, but I've always had a sense, certainly for the last five or six years, that uh, greater transparency in re relation to Singapore is important for all developed countries. The coalition government has committed to simplifying the tax system, so I next asked Dave Hartnett if it's currently doing enough to achieve this objective. Simplification of the tax system is frequently regarded, I think, as the holy grail of modernising taxation. And I think it really is very important indeed to have a tax system which those uh, involved in it, and I don't mean the administrators, I'm thinking of taxpayers now, actually understand. Uh, and that is one of the commitments of the coalition government. Their tax statements, which I think come in 2014 or 2015, I think will be a big help. Um, in that respect. Um, the tax simplification project uh, started uh, pretty well, uh, some would say slowly, but it is tackling um, the issue. Um, no government can afford to throw away its tax code um, in order to simplify. It has to be thought through properly. The risks have to be measured uh, and, and, and managed. Um, and a big program of simplification will simply take time. Tax laws versus ethics, how can we square the circle? Oh, you're doing it to me again. It's not one or the other, it's not a versus. It, it is much more about um, how tax law is applied. I mean, tax law is pretty rigid. Um, it's um, black letter law, so it's there for the lawyers uh, to use, the courts to interpret. Uh, and ethics, I think, are about something really very different. They're about how corporates, rich individuals and others go about um, using um, the tax system, uh, using tax law. I was delighted a few years ago when, in a debate on avoidance. A leading QC, who I often thought of someone who really understood how to avoid tax, um, spoke out and he said quite simply he was ethical and there were things that he could do in tax that he just wouldn't touch. And I think that's the best way of, of looking at it. And one of the big changes in the UK in the last 10 years is that the boards of major corporations um, have got involved in how their tax directors, their chief finance officers manage tax. Uh, and many of those boards now publish uh, statements of tax policy. 
Uh, and in those statements are various ethical considerations, which I think are important. It was something you very much campaigned for, wasn't very it? Very much yes, so. Yes. And finally, I asked Dave Hartnett, on looking back over all of his time at HMRC, what one thing would he go back and change if he could, and why? That's interesting. I wonder whether you're thinking of something to do with tax policy, but the thing I'd change is rather different to that. Um, I think I would have um, invested a lot more in the development of the people in HMRC, particularly the 17,000 tax professionals. Um, if it I, suffered cutbacks in your time, didn't it? On, on oh, in, it, the, the, um, the tax administration in the UK has suffered cuts for a very long time. Um, in proportion to, and sometimes less than other government departments, but, but still there have been cuts. Um, but over in the year before I retired, um, we invested a lot of energy uh, and thinking in establishing a tax academy for the people in HMRC. I wish we'd done that seven or eight years ago. That would be the big thing I'd change. Dave Harnett, former head of tax at HMRC, thank you very much for talking with us. You're very welcome.